it's your girl, Christine, and today we are checking out Growing Up Asian. This is by Domix. Um, I'm interested to see because I have, like, my baby cousin, his mom is, is Filipino and his grandmother's Filipino. And, well, one of his grandmothers, obviously. And um, I want to know for him, or even this friend I have that's like half Korean, half white, what is that side like for them? What are the differences and things that they grow up in knowing? There's certain things that I know that, okay, they have to have rice, they love rice all the time, but my family is Jamaican, so we love rice, we eat rice all the time. So there's like, that's, that's a relatable thing, but what else is it like growing up Asian? I know what it's like to grow up as a Jamaican, of Jamaican heritage in America, I know that, but what is it like to grow up Asian? I know he's gonna make us laugh because I saw the thumbnail. That means he's gonna make us laugh. Link for this video is in the description box below for you to check out. Now, let's get started. Sorry, Gigi. Oh. All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is going to be a different episode. It's not really a hypothetical. We just, okay. uh, just felt like talking, you know? Oh, okay. I'm here in California right now. We're staying at, at Jom's mom's place. Jom's mom's. <laughs> Jamom's place. Jamom's. She looks so excited. Maybe remember some things of like what it was like to live at home or growing up Asian, I guess. Okay. I'm today, just joined him. by a couple friends. Hello. I am Claire. Super I'm Elboy. This is Jom. Oh. I'm sure we all have. No slippers in the house. No slippers? Sorry, no shoes. Uh -oh. <laughs> no shoes. No shoes. So this slippers. is like every a group yeah, of them together. Basket of slippers at the front yep. door. Yep. When people come over, we always offer slippers. There's just an abundance of slippers. Oh, really? My issue with slippers is I end up walking outside a lot on accident with them on. So it defeats the purpose yeah, of having slippers. True. You know, I got to get my mail. It's outside. And I, I don't think about it. I just walk out. And then I was like, well, now my slippers are dirty. <laughs> what different are they? Now these shoes? are outdoor slippers. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever have white friends that go to bed with shoes on? You actually knew people. Yeah, I, I had friends do that. I was visiting his house. Okay, whoa, 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 hold on. Okay, that's weird on any level. Um, not even like an aspect of looking at someone from an Asian perspective. From my perspective, that's weird to go to bed with your shoes on. I would only, like, if you were in an uncomfortable where you, situation where you don't want to take your shoes off because the place is disgusting and dirty, where you don't even want to lay down, okay, I get you. But I sleeping with your shoes on in the bed, Ninja, in my bed, Ninja. You better get your behind out my house. Bye bye. Laid down on his bed with his shoes. Ugh. Why though? This. Is so dirty. Yeah. It's like what's what's the urgency that you need to have your shoes on? At and then time? get out. But it's like the opposite for them. It's like if I come into the house and I try to take my shoes off, they're like, no, just keep your shoes on, dude. <gasps> and then I probably feel safer that way, anyways. If I wear my shoes. <laughs> From an Asian family, we don't really do allowances. Oh. Okay. I never understood that. I didn't either. Like when my friends. I, like, I didn't have an allowance. Yeah, I, I get like a hundred dollars a week. Like for what kind of what friends you for existing? Like, <laughs> so I asked my parents, "Why don't we get allowance?" They didn't know what that meant. I was like, "What's an oh, allowance?" Yeah, no. I, I got allowance. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> okay, but okay, but the the trade off was I had to do all the chores. In the house. Okay. So you're just getting paid. But my allowance was like three dollars a week. Oh. oh. <laughs> that, that was Yikes. My that's that's child labor. That's child labor. Yikes. <laughs> One of my main methods of gaining money as a kid was when I. Uh, picked white hair from my parents head. really and then they, me and then they too, gave yeah. me money for each one i i plucked out how That's much did you get it weird. started off like a quarter for a hair and then went down to like 10 cents and five cents and then went down to just like why like, and then they got older and obviously they got more ah. and then they realized oh this is not a good model because yeah i'm gonna get bald so then they just started dying <laughs> hair, you know? oh they died it yesterday. yes I mean, what you just learned with John's mom, right? Like, not if you eat yeah, real yeah. fast, they'll be like, oh, you must really like the food. So they just like dump more food mm. on your plate and then you're just like sitting there. True. Like, yeah, so the trick is you just eat really slow. <laughs> you see you his mouth moving. Yeah, we usually just have like a bowl of rice or whatever and we have like all the side dishes in the mm -hmm. middle. No one's going to force you to like get more rice or like, just, like get more of this. If you're done, you're done. Yeah, and Koreans, like they will keep eating you until yeah, it's like they're tired. It's, it's, it's not a question stuff. like, do you want more? It's like, oh, you want oh, wow. more. And they just yeah, give it to the you. The do is silent in your sentences. <laughs> oh, do you? Just for my family, I don't know about you guys, mm -hmm. but every time when I have a friend who invites me for like dinner, like parents are always like, oh, you have to bring something nice, you know, bring this wine bottle that we've been like saving up for like the past five oh, years. Oh, wow. Yeah, you. 
I invited you to, what, I think it was the New Year's yeah. dinner, and then you brought, was that like the, the bird's nest? Yeah, I don't even know what it is. Apparently, it's supposed oh, really? to be really healthy. Oh, the bird spit oh, soup thing. Yeah. Like, yeah, like you gave it to my parents. The instructions were in Chinese. They're so like, we don't know how to eat this. I'm like, okay, I'll ask her. <laughs> Like, I don't I don't know. Oh, she didn't know how to do it either. My parents just told me to hand this over, and I did. Yeah, your mom makes a lot of leftovers, and that's like the mindset my family grew up really. Like, we always either make too much food because they want to bring it for lunch, like to work. Yeah, day. we call it baon. I don't like wasting food. That's why we have a term. That for like for food. us like growing up as well, I had uh, like my mom would cook a lot of food, and it was kind of like you like I, I, everyone in my family. It was never like a cook for one day thing. Now, out of circumstance or time, I'll I can do that because I'm I don't necessarily have the time to cook super huge meals. But when I first was when I was first dating my husband and I moved in before we started the channels and all that stuff, I would cook like big meals. Like I would make this. I have this pasta bake recipe that I do not know how to condense. So it's this like thirteen quart um <laughs> uh, a, a glass dish that is like a layered alfredo chicken alfredo type of thing and um, with cheese it's uh, it's amazing it's freaking amazing if you eat it you but it's so much that i I'll, uh, nowadays i have to take it to work because it's just me and my husband we're not going to eat that for like two weeks because that's what it would take to eat all that food so circumstances are different but yeah growing up i mean i have three other siblings so having four kids you know, and mom, mommy and daddy. And then when I would go to my grandmother's house, there was also my uncle, like in my addition, besides us, there was my uncle and my aunt. So we, they always had to cook for a lot of people, like a big group of people. So there'd be so much food that there's enough for everybody to eat today and then tomorrow so that they don't have to cook again tomorrow. We're kind of like a, hey, cook once for a couple of days, every couple of days type of cook family. We're not, hey, let's cook dinner every night. We don't do that ish. No, we don't. A little bit of food left and you gotta eat it clean it's called simot me kill it yeah kill it to the speck oh, okay. there's like a chinese saying like every speck of rice in your bowl is like that's gonna be on your lover's face or something what? lover's face why or your like husband's or your wife's face like it, it'll like turn into something bad like, oh, so if you don't finish your food your wife that's like a guilt yeah, like something like that yeah <laughs> because it's generally known that filipinos have like flat-ish mm. noses so like when every morning like instead of just saying like wake up my mom would just walk into my room and just pinch the bridge of my nose I'm like, what she likes to choke you <laughs> I was like Captain America, super soldier serum all the time. I, was, I had a new liquid, a new pill all the time. Really? Every morning she would like pat my legs down and stretch my legs really? out. Really? Try to make me as long as possible. And I'm, I'm the tallest person in my family. So, so it worked. <laughs> and it worked. Like, did you guys have to take uh, the Chinese medicine stuff? Like you go to like no, the old Chinese doctors. They have a bunch of doors mm -hmm. with like deer antlers and bugs. No. And, they're like, and then you go there, you're like, I want my kid to be taller. They're like, all right, I got you. And then they're like, get yeah, all this like weird oh, stuff. Oh, really? Uh, make a drink. A potion? Yeah, like they'll make a potion. Okay. It's, it's it tastes liquid, disgusting. Liquid chimera, basically. What's chimera again? Oh, That's familiar. Like, we call it hanya. I think like, Koreans warning? are obsessed with medication that makes you taller. I guess oh. that's true, because like all the Koreans oh. in high school in Freedom like were super tall. Oh. I was in between two Koreans, Pak and okay. Park. Pak and Park. Oh, it does sound like a movie yeah, company. So I was like in between them and like freaking graduation and like, a tall ass Korean and then me and like another tall ass That's Korean. funny. What about clothes? My mom always just steals my clothes. Oh really? Especially because we're like about the same height. Like She's I would so just adorable. go home like after, I don't know, university. I have like a mm -hmm. month off and I visit, go into my closet, <laughs> find like 10 things missing. And I look over at my mom and she's like wearing the exact Aww, sweater she's that like, I wanted to wear. Does she do the thing where it's like when she's buying you a gift, she's buying it with the intent that yeah. she's Oh, that's funny. It. You guys have to like do tutors and stuff? Tutor? Well, I did Kumon. Oh, we have a Kumon learning much center. every kid had a tutor every day. And it's like for every subject. So, <laughs> if yeah. everyone has a tutor, what's the point of True. going to school? There, there is no True. point of going to school. Like, we learn so much more. But then all the teachers at school are like, man, you guys are so smart. Yeah, oh, the teacher's funny. like, oh man, all these kids are so smart. It's like, no, we just have a lot of tutors. That's funny. No, I just go to school twice. <laughs> I go to school twice. <laughs> we had like math tests and stuff, right? This is back in China. And I think I got like a 96. Oh, okay. And then my mom was visiting from Canada and the teacher called me out and had a meeting with because of mom. the 96 and she's like well this is your daughter's grade and then my mom looks at it it's like a 96 and she's like oh this is pretty oh. good and she's like nah nah that's the lowest mark in oh the class. wow that's the lowest what the mark frick you, you get like the some people at 105 like mark system you get like a check mark or a check plus check right. minus 
Oh my yeah, goodness. like that's, that's it. And then if you get the check minus, it's like devastating. You're like, oh no, I'm doing bad. A minus. Let me just. Yeah, go ahead and just edit it. <laughs> you guys get hit. Yes. Yeah. I didn't. Oh my there. goodness. It's like <laughs> fist fighting. I got, I got hit verbally. And oh, I like with a wrist. I got both. They, they made us write letters of apologies. Like if you get sent to the principals. Oh really? Time. I wonder if like principals that actually read that. Mine definitely did because he would read it and then he would like show us our mistakes. Are you serious? I was like, oh. are you serious? <laughs> like that's <laughs> like okay, that's next level. What kind of a person are you? This kid writes an apology level letter for um, you know, making a mistake because their parents made them write it. And you're gonna grade their freaking letter? Like, what kind of a creep are you? Fall off a, a car, okay? That's not moving. He's like, yeah, yeah, he's like, like sorry, you man. spelled this wrong. Like, sorry, All right, thank you. There was this one time in high school, I was in my uh, social studies class or something like that, and I was just sitting there, it was a really boring class, and then Gabe kicks the door open, right? And he's, <laughs> my friend Gabe, uh, he kicks the door open, and he's like, ma'am, I need John okay. right now. So, so she looked at him like, okay. Or he's like, what do you need him for? And he's like, it's an emergency. So then I walked out the door. Yeah, I was like, dude, Gabe, what's wrong? What did something, something happen? What, what's wrong? And he's like, dude, I just got you out of class. Isn't that sick? I was like, oh, <laughs> and then, like we just sick. we just left. And then we just went to go hang out to school. Oh, there. that's funny. When you go to a school, you know how you have to give them your contacts, like your yeah. parents or whatever. Who to call when there's an issue? And I just put my grandpa. So then, because he can't speak English. Oh, that's <laughs> messed up. Wow. There was a point where my friend's mom mm -hmm. called me in the middle of like the night. I'll call him uh, okay. call Andrew. Or Randy. Or Randy. His, his mom called me That's in the middle weird. of the night, and she was smart about this. She called me on Andy's cell phone. She took his cell phone and called me. I was like, hey, what's up? And she's just crying. She, like, she, she would just tell me stuff like, oh, my son is doing bad in the school because you're the bad friend, and I don't want him to talk to you. Oh, my goodness. Like, oh, my God. Like, she's like, promise me she, you will not talk to my son Oh, my anymore. goodness. And I was like, I'm, what? Like, I didn't know what to say. This is I weird. A situation where a mom called me and t called me a piece of shit <laughs> and said that I can't hang out with That's somebody. weird. Jesus Christ. I, I didn't know what to do. I'm pretty sure me and Andy, Randy had to hang out like secretly or something. He should have, she should have called his mother. Like Not him. <laughs> Randy, Randy, let Wrong me know reference hair. I can't, my mom bull cut me. <laughs> I think for like me, like a lot of <laughs> That's funny. That's funny because I think of like Rapunzel. Now she had all this luscious long blonde hair and he's like, I can't, my mom bull cut me. Poor guy. They had a ban on relationships, especially during high school. Their parents were like, you cannot have a boyfriend. Wow, I see that. They should have just been like, you can't see your girlfriend unless you get an A. And then you'd be like, oh, that okay. would have been good. Yeah, yeah that's like, that's that would have been good. Yeah, like, if, if you get an A, like, I'll drive you. I'll pay for your date. Oh, me. yeah. Like, I don't know if it was my first or my second girlfriend, but I remember I told my dad, and he's like, oh, you have a girlfriend? How many? And I was just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, hold on, sir. Yeah, they were just like, date as much as you can now because then you, you'll learn and you won't make stupid mistakes. Oh, like you did. When I grew up, I obviously wasn't the smartest student and my family mm. was always worried about that. But they kind of got over it. But my grandparents oh, never got over it. And there was this one time where I released an animation. Um, It was Ice Cream 2 back in like 2000. Look at that's pretty cool. Right? And it was the first time I ever got paid for an animation. I got $100 from Sticky. Oh, that's cool. Home. And back then that was like a million dollars yeah. to a kid, right? I was like, holy crap, I can make mm -hmm. money doing this. You can buy some new bones. I can buy some new bones. <laughs> but then my grandpa pulled me aside one night and he's like, hey, John, you know, I think it's cool that you like to draw these mm -hmm. weird stick people, but, you know, I don't want you taking money from the internet because that's blood money. And <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like, you have to get a real job. You know, you have to you have to work with your own hands. You have to Goodness. Hard labor. But once my mom saw it, she was like, holy crap, you were, this is what you were doing this whole time? I thought you were just dumb. Like, Go ahead, keep doing this. <laughs> you thought I would? What I thought was interesting is like, uh, like I went to some art schools and stuff. I would always like notice like there's nine girls for every one guy. Really? And I remember I talked about it with my mom. She's like, you'll notice that none of the guys are Asian. Yeah. I was like, why? And she just straight up tells me like, Asians never let their kids become artists, especially oh. if they're male. And then she tells me like, these stories. So like parents, like they would like break their kids. Really? Hands and stuff. Oh my God. Like, like if they found their kid drawing, they would immediately crush all. Their oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, like literally crush all their supplies <laughs> and like wow. them, and then like they give them like math problems to do. Oh, that's so sad. Have you guys ever been bullied for being Asian in your school, like racist yeah. kids? Sure. Nope. Nope. Oh, you freaking yeah, all, like, Asian all Asian school. Asians. I think what was the one where it was like. Chinese, I, Japanese, oh, something yeah. knees. They, they yeah, look at these. I've, I've heard I'm that. Like, I've heard that. What? I'm like, I'm <laughs> Filipino. Uh, I'm neither. In high school, I was like walking home from a from a friend's house okay. and just walking by this house that was, the garage is open, and a bunch of these little like 
boy white kids mm-hmm. in the garage and then they look at me and they're like go back to the railroad and i'm like what the f- i'm not the chinese <laughs> so, like i didn't contribute to that it took me a while to process what they meant but yeah I knew it was racist he's like i didn't know what they were saying but i knew it was racist i would have to say growing up i did hear you know i heard the uh i think it's chinese japanese um dirty knees look at these yeah that's what he saw that's what or what he wrote i've heard that one when growing up as a kid and i would have to say like now like as a kid i only thought there was at first i thought there was just chinese and then i learned there was japanese and i was like okay so there's japanese and there's chinese and then as you get older you know there's like there's like a whole bunch of other countries and different like filipino i don't think i learned about filipinos till i was like middle school that's when I learned about Filipinos. I was like, oh, there's, it's an expanded upon um, group of a race. Like, it's not just, you know, it's like, okay, you've got black Americans, you've got Jamaicans, you've got their, like, there are all these different islands. And growing up, you think that there's just one. You think there's just white people, there's just Chinese or Japanese, and then there's just black people. But no, that's not the case. And as an adult, I mean, I know a lot more now. You've got a bunch of, oh, even Spanish, you knew there was Spanish. But you didn't know where, because there's like a lot of different countries. You've got Mexico, you've got um, Guatemala, Puerto Rico, Spain. You've got so many, Venezuela. You've got a whole, everyone's got their continents where there's so many different versions of a skin color. That's what I say, of a skin color. And it's fun growing up and realizing now how little-minded we were and how schools don't really, when you're in, Elementary school, they don't teach you, oh, there's a lot of different types of people who are Asian, of Asian descent. They come from all these different countries. They have all these different cultures. Same thing with black people. Oh, there's so many different um, black people. You have people from Africa, from a from the continent of Africa. And in the continent, there are countries. And each of those countries have different country, uh, uh, like social rules and things like that. And some have tribes. Some don't. Like, it's... There's so many things to be expanded upon that is not when you're a young kid in school. And you grow up ignorant we need to fix that people we need to fix that um finish this video i'm sorry yeah like it, it felt real like... yeah, i think people made fun of my accent because i used the half Chinese accent Aww. when i first came to canada yeah me too. but like that was about it Dude, don't even worry about it i slipped and i was born here speaking oh. yeah, all my life <laughs> i don't really practice tagalog at home so when i went to the philippines Instead of speaking Tagalog, I just started speaking English with Re- a Filipino <laughs> accent. What? <laughs> so, I try to like that's that's how I try to blend in. That's funny. Did you get a Korean name even though you were born here? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like it's decided by your oh your parents, your grandparents. Well, like if you get really Change traditional, name. you go to a fortune teller and they assign you a syllable a for, syllable? for, your, for uh, the generation. Really? Your second, second syllable is <laughs> <laughs> really that's unique. <laughs> Wait, how, do, how, how do you say park in like Korean like Korean accent? It's just pa- it's just pa- oh. I don't know. So why is another one of variants? Okay. Is like pack. Yeah, like mine is like Lee, but there is no L in the Korean pronunciation. It's just E. Oh really? <laughs> why do you make that face? <laughs> <laughs> That's unique. This is random, but I forgot to mention it earlier. In the mm. getting hit part, there was one time my mom got really mad at me and tried to throw a shoe. And then, and then she misses. Oh my goodness. My <laughs> the poor kid. <laughs> so she like, you can oh, cash that in later. Really? Oh, <laughs> But okay, so it's really, I think it's really cool that sharing the different, um, their different experiences growing up Asian. And they're all different. The Chinese, you have Filipino, you've got Korean. So it's like you've got different um, cultural rules and things like that, which I've always thought were interesting in regards to how like you have social rules um, and cultural rules and uh, a superstition. It's like learning from different cultures and what they grow, have their children believe. Like my husband's Haitian, so they've got their own things that are very interesting. And then my family's Jamaican, and we've got our own things that are super interesting. So it's cool to learn from other people what their lives were like growing up and how even though, yes, one's Korean, one's Chinese, one's Filipino, there are similarities. There are things that they, um, that as a whole, they were grown to believe and understand. And then there's individualities in between each of the different um, descents, just like in Haitian and uh, like anyone from an island. There are certain things that everybody's like, oh yeah, of course. And certain things where they're like, whoa, 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 that's what you do? And they're like, no, that's what you do. So it's very interesting to learn about different people. I implore you, like, 
Take the time of understanding someone who's not like you. There's a lot of things that you can learn about somebody that could be very interesting and help you learn about yourself and about others and have a more open mind. And I think that this was a really cool thing to hear people who are Asian and hear the things that they went through growing up and some things I can relate to. Like taking shoes off in the house, we do that. When we come inside the house, you gotta take your shoes off. You don't wanna walk around on the floor with that. The whole laying in the bed with your shoes on thing, that's super weird. If you do that, take your shoes off. If you in your own house, take your shoes off. If you have somebody else's house that you trust and love, take your shoes off. Only keep them on if they are disgusting. And also get out of their house because they're nasty. But um, let me know your thoughts down below. What kind of cultural things do you have? Or let's all get to know each other down below. If you like the video, check out the link in the description box below to support Dominic. If you like this video, hit the like on that like button. I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies.